Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for Facial Fridays. This week's Facial Friday, I thought I would do the best of luxury facials, all the facial treatments that I've had the pleasure of experiencing in one place for you to enjoy. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the next two hours of the best of luxury facials.
vacuum blackheads. So would you like me to do steam and extractions for you and try to remove the blackheads? Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good elasticity. The skin is very soft and smooth. Good texture. sensation on the surface of your skin. Mm -hmm. What do you feel? Um, tingly. Tingly, okay. This is the peel? Yes, this is the step when we do the peel. Is it less intense as I move my fingers over your face? Mm -hmm. Yes, good. Um, still feel it. But... Still feel it? Okay, good. Now let's put the steam. Can you feel the steam mm -hmm. over your face? Yes. If it's too hot, let me know. I can always adjust the distance for you. Keep the peel of the skin for four to six minutes. Mm -hmm. Right now it has been exactly four minutes. Would you like me to remove it or we can keep it for two more minutes? Um, I think maybe a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure this is not too hot for you. How is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yes?
instructions. Is okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hydrating oil today. That helps to rehydrate the skin. Has vitamin E, so it's antioxidant and anti-aging.
completed now. Thank you so much. How do you feel? Amazing. That yes. massage was so good. Yes, you enjoyed it. Perfect. Mm. Excellent. Today's facial is at the Organic Pharmacy in Beverly Hills. I've been there many times and Akime is one of my favorite estheticians. The Organic Pharmacy is also what really was the catalyst for me to look into cleaner, non-toxic beauty options. And I highly encourage you guys to visit whenever you get a chance to stop by the Beverly Hills location. Let them know I sent you. Today's facial treatment, I decided to test out their Skin Solutions Facial, which is a little bit more affordable than the other two I've shown on my channel. It's tailor-made to suit your skin needs and I did do an add-on of express power utilizing ultrasonic and microcurrent technologies on this day my skin was very irritated dry and congested and I have to say for the upcoming days after this facial my skin showed huge improvement and I feel like it's back to normal at this point so I can always trust the organic pharmacy to get my skin back to normal and I also want to give a huge shout out to them because they really are such an amazing place and I know you guys like to enjoy these facial treatments so after this intro you will not hear from me again so please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that post notifications so you're notified whenever I have a new video up on my channel enjoy the facial treatment
channel if you're new i'm serene make sure you subscribe to my channel with post notifications turned on so you'll be notified anytime there's a new facial treatment video as well as beauty skincare and content that has to do with wellness and self-care today's video is a facial treatment at arcona los angeles arcona offers pumpkin enzyme peels and they're famous for their facial contouring treatment, which I will be sharing with you today. Now, all of the products used are all natural and clean, which is my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoy today's facial treatment. Like many facials, we begin with cleansing the skin, removing any excess sebum, moisturizer, products, SPF, or makeup. And then we go in with the pumpkin enzyme peel. My skin really loves enzyme peels because it's more gentle on my skin. I have rather sensitive skin, combination and oily. My biggest concern is enlarged pores and of course maintaining my skin's elasticity. Receiving peels every few months is a great way to maintain your skin's health. I personally am very fond of enzyme peels and pumpkin enzymes are some of my favorite. So she's applying the peel all over my face and while the peel sits, she's going to give me a nice massage. enzyme peel sits on my skin, we're putting steam on it that activates the enzymes. You might feel a little bit of tingling. My skin actually didn't have too much tingling this time around, but it's normal. Now anytime you receive any sort of treatment that involves a peel, whether it's enzyme or chemical, make sure you stay out of the sun, protect your skin with SPF 30 or higher daily, and avoid exfoliation for the next week. This is going to help maintain your peel and also allow your skin to regenerate and heal properly. Now I'm receiving a nice upper body massage, which is always helpful, especially with all the time I spend at my desk editing and creating content. So enjoy.
Now that the peel is ready to be removed, we're applying some cleanser and massaging it in to break down the pumpkin enzymes for easy removal. This process actually started to stimulate the peel and it felt a little more tingly, but that's okay. It just means all of my dead skin cells are being removed and all the fresh happy ones will be revealed after this treatment. After prepping the skin with some raspberry toner, one of my favorites, which I use also at home, and adding some moisturizing oils, we began Harkona's famous facial contour treatment. This has been performed on many celebrities before red carpets and is recommended to do as often as possible as much as once a week for maximum results. This stimulates the circulation in your skin, uplifting the facial muscles, really working them out, having them be lifted, as well as improving lymphatic drainage. This was one of the most intense facial massages I've had, and I'm sure if you watch my facial treatments, you'll see that there's nothing like this on my channel. This is something I highly recommend visiting Arcona for, and it's very rejuvenating and incredibly, incredibly stimulating, and I felt like my face was lifted, hydrated, plump, and just wide awake for many days after.
invigorating facial contour massage, she's then applying a warm towel to remove any excess moisturizer and oils, and then prepping my skin for the day.
Thank you so much for joining me for today's facial treatment with Arcona. If you have any questions, To begin the facial, we start with three deep breaths of aromatherapy. So this really helps me relax and mentally unwind and start to prepare to just enjoy the next 45 to an hour of being pampered. facials you want to make sure your skin is cleansed so we begin with an oil cleanser to remove makeup or oil and build up on my skin I am wearing a full face of makeup so the oil really breaks everything down as well as the SPF I might be wearing and typically am wearing the second cleanser is a regenerating cleanser with a slight exfoliant because my skin is quite dehydrated, I am being put under the steam for a little bit to help open up the pores and add a little bit of moisture, but not too long. If you have dry skin, you don't want to be under steam for too long. Now for my favorite part of any facial extractions. Extractions really need to be done by professional. I don't recommend you guys do this at home. If you listen to my recent podcast, I used to do these at home and that is why I have broken capillaries and scars. So please go see a professional for this. This is the best way to clean out your pores from whiteheads, blackheads, any breakouts you might be having, anything that might be coming up. It is also the, I think, most effective way to have smaller pores because the more you clean them out, the smaller your pores can end up being through time. And this is just a really great way to get clear skin. Is really you can't replace this with anything else. And my favorite reason for going to see a facial besides the relaxation is to truly get my pores cleaned. After extractions, I have a hydrating mask being applied on me. This has lactic acid, aloe, and buttermilk. It's all organic with essential oils, so this will help um, kind of eliminate some of the excess on my skin plus add in hydration. While the mask is sitting on my face, I did receive a really nice massage on my arms and legs, and then we are just removing the mask. Moving on to mask number two, this is a resurfacing mask and all of the Tata Harper facials end with this mask. It finishes off your facial with a glow, it's a gel-like mask and it really helps get rid of anything that you might have missed. A tip I learned during this facial is that if you have dry skin, you actually want to make sure you're exfoliating quite frequently and getting rid of all of the dead skin cells and flakiness and dryness so that the hydrating products can actually reach what needs to be reached and hydrated. And for the finishing touches, hydrating toner, moisturizer, lip balm, and of course some eye cream. Now, the Tata Harper Facial at Credo in LA is actually quite affordable compared to the price point of the products. So it's a great way for you guys to test out the products before deciding whether or not you want to commit to it in your skincare routine. With every facial, we begin with cleansing the skin. And since I did not have any makeup on my face, we only did one round with cleanser. And she's using the hydrating cleanser from Dr. Obaji. 
While the cleansing is happening, we are also consulting with my skincare routine and kind of what I've been using and what I might be looking for during this facial session. And one of my favorite things is really having someone touch my face, massage it, and truly pay attention to my skin. Next step is exfoliating, and she's applying the exfoliating polish all over my face, which later on, she's going to use the lactic acid on top, which will melt away the crystals that you see on my skin right now. This helps with hydration and also with extractions later on in the facial. Now we begin the hydrofacial portion of today's facial treatment. You can typically find a hydrofacial usually at your local dermatologist's office. I'll link the website in case you guys are interested in finding a provider near you. What I like about this process is that it really does help with exfoliation, cleansing, almost like a microdermabrasion, but less harmful and less intense. There's no downtime with the hydrofacial, and uh, this is my second one I've ever had. Really enjoy it. There is a suction happening right now, but like I mentioned, I get a little bit red, you can see here, but then it definitely clears up and my skin is really soothed. It's, it's hydrating, it's not invasive whatsoever, but it does everything I kind of want from a more intense facial. Now we're going in with a light chemical peel. She's using glycolic and salicylic to do this. There's no downtime. It's not a high enough amount of acid to cause any actual downtime. It's great for monthly breakouts and also to just maintain the health of your skin. favorite part of any facial is the extraction portion. This really makes my skin feel so much better. So with the hydrofacial, she's using a benzoyl peroxide for the extractions. The suction level is turned up and this will pull out anything from my pores, any of the debris, and then she can go in with her hands to get anything that the machine is missing. But this definitely is a lot less painful than traditional extractions and a lot less potential for bruising or any uh, leftover marks from hand and extractions. You can see here she's just going in for any of the minor bits left over that the machine didn't get and she's using her fingers to do so. Again, please do not do this at home. Make sure you see a licensed professional before doing any extractions. Next up, we're going to tone using the TE Salicylic Glycolic Toner Pad, and there's three levels that they have available. Based on my skincare needs, we are going in with a sulfur mask, which will help pull out whatever's left in my pores without overly drying my skin. This is safe to use. It's very gentle, even though it's quite tingly. While the mask is drying, she's giving me a light massage, which was very lovely because my shoulders are always tense. A great tip that I learned about sulfur masks is to actually do a pretty thin layer so that the sulfur has time to dry and pull out everything from your pores. I was using way too much at home. After the mask is removed, we're going in with high frequency. This, you can smell the ozone. It creates a level of ozone between the electrodes of your skin. It's great for antibacterial and blood flow.
Now the last portion of the hydrofacial is infusing a serum and she's putting an antioxidant serum for my face because it's really good at helping my skin. You guys know I talk about antioxidants all the time for our skincare routines and this just really helps infuse the serum into my skin. Now to finish off the facial and prep my skin for the day, she's using Bright Alive, which is a skin brightener. It's safe to use because there's no hydroquinone in it, and it helps with my freckling. Some lip balm, some eye cream, and of course, a tinted SPF. It's called their primer, and it feels amazing. I definitely need to pick some up. And sealing everything off with cryogen therapy. This helps with any irritation, any redness. It closes up the pores and seals everything in. It's essentially dry ice on a cotton pad, but it feels amazing. And this was the first time I had it done in a facial treatment. So really, really lovely and just the perfect cherry on top. Now you can see that my skin just looks amazing. I love how it feels. In terms of facials, I definitely feel like the Hydra facials, because it's done at a Medi Spa or in a doctor's office, is more to the point, definitely treating the skin and doing whatever it needs versus like a super relaxing um, spa setting. This is definitely more about results and getting it done versus like, let's have a nice spa day. But you know what? I love the way my skin looks. The facial begins with deep breathing and I'm taking three deep inhales and there's essential oils to help relax and calm my mind as well as my body. And it really just helps me kind of decompress and focus on relaxing. With any facial, you want to begin with deep cleansing. Today we're using the Carrot Butter from The Organic Pharmacy, one of my all-time favorite products. You can buy this and use it at home as well. I'm almost done with my little jar of it. Everything from The Organic Pharmacy is certified pharmaceutical grade organic and it's cruelty free. It's just very effective and clean products with no petrochemicals or mineral oils. There are so many amazing benefits for getting facials frequently. One of them is the massage. It helps stimulate circulation, it helps with collagen, and I feel it really helps firm and keeps my skin healthy and radiant. After your skin is fully cleansed and toned, your esthetician will look at your skin under a magnifying glass. This really helps assess what your skincare needs might be and help recommend products for you to take home and just kind of help you assess what you might need by a professional. Mine's a little dehydrated and congested today. step of my rose crystal lymphatic facial is exfoliating and massage on my face. The massage really helps stimulate the circulation, the blood flow, which helps with collagen, firmness, and all around health of your skin. Don't forget that your skin is sitting on top of muscles and your facial muscles need to be worked out. So she's just exfoliating with a mask as well as using a nice massage and then using a warm cloth to remove all of the mask. One of my favorite products is Rose Hip Seed Oil and she's applying this all over my face. While the Rose Hip Seed Oil is on my face, it's also sitting under a steamer. The steam is opening up my pores. The Rose Hip Oil is great for wrinkles, discoloration, sun damage, or scarring. And I'm getting an amazing acupuncture foot massage and leg massage. Once the steam is turned off, it's time for extractions. This is probably one of my favorite things to have done during a facial because nobody can do it like a professional. Really get rid of that gunk, those blackheads, all of the nasty stuff. The seaweed clay mask help closes the pores as well as detoxifies my skin. While this amazingly luxurious cooling face mask is on my skin, I'm getting a wonderful scalp massage. If you've never had one, it's superb. 
Now for the showstopper of this facial. I'm having an amazing acupuncturial facial massage, which really helps drain any of the toxins. It helps with my firmness of the skin. And then she's going in with rose quartz crystals. I don't know if you believe in them or not. I personally do. I find that it's very healing, relaxing, and detoxifying. This honey jasmine mask is really, really hydrating without being greasy or thick. And I actually had a sample of this and used it as a night mask, which is amazing for hydration. And through all of this, I'm getting a wonderful massage. It's super relaxing. Everything's being cleansed off beautifully. Collagen is being applied to my skin, and then I'm getting a wonderful arm massage, and back to my facial massage. We're getting a ton of massages, and then deep breathing to end the facial part of this facial. Next, she's going into my shoulders and my back massage. You really get a full body massage during this 90 minute facial, which is wonderful. I have a lot of tension in my shoulders and neck from working at my desk all day. So this was really necessary and this just was the icing on the cake. Hey guys, that was one of the best, most rejuvenating facials I've ever had. And I'm filming on my phone now because my camera died after the 90 minutes. So it was amazing. You can see my skin is glowing. It's really clear. And my whole body just feels really like detoxified and relaxed. So, love it.